This is another Infosol production. Hello, my name is Sasha Level, stylist and owner of Hair of All Shades and Textures. I'm located at 206 A Indian Trail, which is located behind the Fred's and Los Puentes and Davos and all that. I got started doing hair. Um, actually, I was living in Woodland Heights. That was my first apartment, and I was sitting on the porch, and my neighbor Tony Brunson came down. He was like, I'm going to go to uh, Queen City tomorrow and see if I can start barber school. I was like, well, I think I need to do something else besides just going from job to job. So I was like, well, you mind if I ride with you to sign up for uh, beauty school? He was like, no, that's cool. And so from there, it was history. There I am 10 years later with my own salon. Doing well, with no problem, by the grace of God. My motivation would be my kids. Um, growing up, you know, being black or whatever, you have these kids that grows up without parents, you know, that don't teach them, the, you know, right from wrong. They grow up seeing their mom in and out of relationships, dad never there, my dad wasn't there for me, I didn't meet him until I was 18 years old. So, at a young age, I always said that once I have kids, I'm going to have kids by one man and try to keep them on a straight and narrow so that they can see that there it is possible for a black family to have both mom and dad in the household, you know, to where they can be be like, wow, it really can happen. It's not just in other races that they have the same parent. All the kids have the same dad. So I say my kids are my motivation because I want to let them know that you can do it. You don't have to just skip from one person to the next person just to have something. My advice for young women growing up today is treat your body like it's a temple. Don't sleep with every guy that comes in your life and tell you that they love you, you're this, you're, you're, they've always looked for this in a woman because nine times out of ten, they told somebody else that. So if you make a man wait for what they think they want and don't give it to him on the first try, I guarantee you that you will find a husband or a man that really wants you for who you are and not for what you can give them. And for those that already have kids, I had two kids before I got started. So don't think that just because you have kids that you can't make something out of yourself because God looks for the ones that has made those bad decisions in their life so he can use you as motivation to motivate other people. So don't just, because you feel like you've messed up in life and you feel like you can't get nowhere, don't feel that way because nine times out of 10, everybody that's made something out of themselves had went down a road that was rocky and hard for them. So don't ever feel like that you can't make nothing out of yourself because you can. God gives us all second chances because if it wasn't for the second chance that he gave me, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Because by the grace of God, I have this a lot. My first apartment was Woodland Heights. I had two kids by the time I was 21. So I feel like that if I can do it, anybody can do it. So don't ever give up on what you think you, you want to do. I work with three ladies on my journey to where I got today. And if I feel like if I wouldn't have worked with them, that I probably would not be as successful as I am. So I would like to take the time and tell Jennifer Williams, Nicole Dunbar, and Jessica Turner, thank you for showing me the way that y'all showed me. Because it was things that y'all taught and showed me that I think if I wouldn't have never worked with you, you ladies, that I wouldn't have never been as successful as I can be. And so I believe in giving credit where credit's due. And I really would like to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for showing me the way that y'all showed me.